Hi, in this tutorial we're going to build an entire fantasy world and we're going to do that in just a few clicks of a mouse. What I'm going to do is use a program called Fractal Terrains which is also available from Pro Fantasy, the makers of Campaign Cartographer. So I'll just bring up the program now. What Fractal Terrains allows you to do is very quickly create scientifically accurate world maps based on a whole range of algorithms. In this particular case I've just got a, a basic map up here as you can see it's it's not particularly attractive at the moment I'm going to want to create a fantasy world which has got a lot of islands uh, a lot of very intricate waterways and so forth it's for a campaign setting uh, that I've got which is basically a blue planet type setting where uh, spaceships from Earth have colonized a, a water-based planet and there's intelligent life forms under the sea and all that sort of good stuff going on so this map is not really going to give me a world setting that I'm happy with so let's start by clicking over here on the world settings tool button that will bring up this window here which allows us to very quickly create our world settings I'm going to select earth because I do want this to be an earth type planet that will set the size to be relative to earth and, and so forth uh, water levels and, and climate and then I'm going to go over to the primary settings here I'm going to make my mountains a little bit higher than we will, would have on earth I'm going to make it say 4,000 feet. In the lowest depth I'll keep it 3,000. Circumference about the same as Earth. I might just randomize the world seed. The world seed is the numerical number which is used to create, if you will, the mathematical algorithms that describe the, the, the uh, world itself. I'm going to make the roughness of this world a little bit higher, which basically ties in with a bit more of a mountainous volcanic sort of environment. But very importantly, C, percentage of C. I'm going to have the percentage of C slightly less than what we'd have normally for a, an Earth type environment, say 60% will be C. And the land size, very important, if I want a couple of big continents, I would have the land size set to large. I want lots of little islands, so I'm going to bring this much more towards the small end of the scale over here. And then I'm going to simply go apply. Let's close this down now. You can see that what Fractal Terrains has done has generated me a new world map. It might be a little bit difficult to see this uh, map uh, at this scale, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to change the projection. People who are involved in mapping know that you can map a globe in many different ways. The challenge is how to map it in such a way that you get least distortion around the edges. Uh, one of the more common mapping formats is called the Mercator and we often see this uh, in fantasy books so we just click on that and it really, really stretches out that globe into a into a flat plane um, it's an interesting looking world but not quite what I wanted if you want to recalculate to the next seed or the next world in the sequence just click this next world button here mm, still not quite what I want next mm, not quite there yet Ooh, that's looking a bit better just keep on pressing next until you find a world that you like that's the one I want we've got some fairly interesting land masses at the poles which will be here and here and then I've got this lovely display of islands across the equator uh, the, the equator and the tropic sections fantastic we've now created a world it's great to have it in um, fractal terrains but what do I do with that how do I get that into my um, fantasy mapping environment the easiest way is to choose a section of the world that you'd like to map out in detail so I'm going to use the zoom window button here and select this little part of the world right here as you can see we can now zoom in to a great level of detail I now want to export this to campaign cartographer I'm going to click on file save as a campaign cartographer 2 file which of course will also be easily read in campaign cartographer 3 now there's many different basic ways of exporting out this information. Bear in mind this is not just going to that this can give us the ability not just to export the the basic map itself, the contours, but also the climate, the weather patterns, the rivers and so forth. In this case I'm really only interested in a very very basic map. So I'm just going to export as Europe export. It's clean, it's simple, it's a style I like. You can get a great deal of granular control over these uh, export options, but at this time we'll just go for the Europe export and then click on export world it's asking for the name of uh, the world which I'd like to export and I'm going to call this fantasy world demo well, we'll make it demo one close up and save 
Done. If I now start Campaign Cartographer 3, I can now call up my map. So let's find it. Here it is. Fantasy World Demo 1. And bingo, there's a, 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 a good representation of the map as ported into, and I'll just uh, close this window down, as ported into Campaign Cartographer. So there's the map that Campaign Cartographer has taken, and there's the original. Great, now that we've got the map into Campaign Cartographer, we can now start adding mountain ranges and forests and all sorts of other things to it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom into this little part of the map here, lovely you can see how much detail that the fractal terrains has put into this export incredibly fine coastal lines I'm going to select uh, a standard mountain range to put in here uh, way too big for this particular scale of map so right click uh, let's reduce that down to about half that size that's better and I can start to put a mountain range a sensible mountain range in through here following of course the contour lines of the map we might bring in some uh, larger mountains and through this section and maybe even some very large mountains well we did say that we're going to have volcanoes so I can't resist putting in a volcano or two now that I've seen it there As you can see, I'm just following the contour lines of this map, so it makes sense. So you can see you can very quickly map out um, a fantasy world in, in really record time. 